Howdy and welcome to the Laptop Empire Show. Today I'm going to show you how to set up your Facebook Business Manager account. I'm also going to explain to you how to use it and why we use it in the first place. Now, this is a really basic concept, especially if you're going to be managing Facebook ads for other businesses. But even though it's a basic concept that everybody needs to know, it's one of the more confusing things. Everybody gets super confused setting up Business Manager. So today I'm gonna to show you how to actually set up the account. But before we do that, if you've got any questions about Business Manager or Facebook ads in general, please let me know in the comments because if there's something you wanna know about, I'll create a video about it. And if you're interested in learning how to manage Facebook ads for local businesses to start earning one to $2,000 per month per client, be sure to check out the link in the description and in the comments. All right, we're here on my computer and I'm about to walk you through how to set up Business Manager. But before we do that, I want to just explain to you why it's important, why we do it. Now, the first thing that's part of the setup is you're going to go to business.facebook.com. You can see this up here and it's going to show you this overview screen. And so you can read all kinds of information about it and it'll walk you through some things. But I kind of want to give you my version of why it's so important. So business manager basically allows you to organize things. So if you've got multiple pages or multiple ad accounts, it allows you to manage them under a single platform. And on the other side, if you are managing accounts for people, if you are providing Facebook ad services, it's going to allow you and your team members to be able to, um, to manage all of those different ad accounts, all of those different pixels, all of those different Facebook pages, and to give different people on your team or, you know, different people that work with you, if it's, you just have multiple pages, you know, differing levels of, you know, permissions, right? Some are going to be admins. Some are just going to be editors. Some can do, there's all these different things that you can do. So if the big thing is that, you know, you're using business manager to manage multiple accounts, whether you have multiple accounts or you're managing all of these other people's accounts, you're probably wondering to yourself, okay, I just have one account. It's just me. I'm just managing ads for myself. Why should I use business manager? And that's a really good question because you might not think you need it, but you still should use it. And the main reason is because even if it's just you and you have, say, one page for your business and one ad account, you probably want to go ahead and set up multiple ad accounts. All right. Because here's the thing. Facebook's policies are always changing. They're very strict about their rules, like what you can and can't say and what you can and can't advertise about. And sometimes you just you cross the line and you don't realize it. No matter how many times you read their policies, you might run the, you know, say the wrong thing. And that can lead to your account getting, you know, disbanded. Like it can get, it can get banned and you can't get in there anymore. It'll be completely disabled. And then the other thing, and this happened to us recently is there were these old ads that we hadn't run. They were from like five years ago and the policies had changed and they retroactively reviewed these ads and they denied, they rejected like 10 of them at once and shut the account down. So even if you are doing your best and you know, the policies and you're following the rules you know, sometimes things can happen and you might have an account get shut down. If your ad account gets shut down, you will be unable to create new ad accounts. But if you set up business manager and you set up multiple accounts, you can set up backup accounts. That way, even if something happens and one gets shut down, even if it's innocent, even if it's by mistake and it shouldn't have been shut down, and Facebook's just not reinstating it, you have backup accounts ready to go. And a little pro tip for you, if you're building custom audiences and things like that, it's always a good idea to build those custom audiences using one of your backup accounts and then share the audiences to the one you're using. Because if they're on the same account and that account gets shut down, you're going to lose those audiences as well. So just a little pro tip for you. So let's dive into it. Let's talk about actually how to set up business manager. So as I said before, you're going to go to business.facebook.com. You're going to come here to this page and you can see this big blue button that says create account. That's where you're going to start. Now, here's the information. This is where you're going to set it up. You're going to create a business and account name, whatever the name of your business is. So I'm just going to call this, you know, brand new business name. Okay. You're going to put your name. I I'm, I'm just going to put Mike and then you're going to put a business email. Once you've done that, you're going to click next. 
So once you do that, you hit next, you're going to get this information. You're going to add in all of the, you know, detailed information about the address, where your business is located, all of those kind of things. And specifically, whether you're going to be using these tools to promote your own goods or services or provide services to other businesses. Once you fill out all of this information, including your website and all of this address information, you're going to go ahead and click submit. The next thing that happens is you're going to get this message that tells you you need to go confirm your email account to make sure that it's legit. So you're going to go over to your email. It's going to look just like this and you're going to click confirm now. And as soon as you do that, it's going to finish the process and it's going to take you back to the main business settings view of your business manager. Now you can see there's nothing in here yet, so it's no big deal. Um, I want to show you what it's going to look like down the road once you have everything set up though. So your other business manager is going to look kind of like this once it's all set up. You can see here the ad accounts and the pages that are under, you know, this business manager. And here you can add, you can go into those ad accounts, you know, um, go into those pages and do the work you need to do. If you click this business settings button, that's going to throw you into the same view. It's going to look just like this. You're going to have all these settings here on the left. All right, now that you have this set up, you need to add your ad accounts. You need to add your pages, all right? So I'm going to walk you through that process. We're going to start with the pages. So you can see here on the left, you see users, you see partners. These aren't super relevant to you right now. You can see yourself here as a person, um, and you can add other people to your account simply by going to add and then determining whether you want them to be an employee or an admin, and then entering the email they use for Facebook, which will send them an invite, and you just do this guided process, click next, and then they're going to get an email and, and confirm their email the same way you did for this business account. Now, what we really want to see is down here under accounts on the left side, it says pages and ad accounts. So we'll start with pages. There's nothing here yet. And so this is where we can add pages. And you just go here to this blue button, you click add. Now, it's really important that you keep in mind, you know, what these different things do, because they are all a little bit different. All right. First, at the very bottom, there's create new page. If you don't have a page for your business yet, you can click this and follow the guided process, you know, right here to actually create a new page. Now, if you are just wanting to have access to a page, like you want to use a page, that's what this one's going to be. You're going to click on it. You're going to choose the page. You're going to, you're going to request access from the owner. This one right here, this add a page, it's very important. You only do this if you own a page, because if you click add a page and you put in the page information, like I have laptop empires, if I were to try and claim this, if I were to try and add this, I would claim ownership. And I just created this account as an example for y'all. I don't want to claim ownership. I want to keep that owned by my real Laptop Empire business account. And so the same thing, if you are trying to work with a client and you, you want to make sure you're using request access to their page, not add a page. Because if you type in the client's page and add the page and they accidentally approve it because they don't know any better, now you're the owner of their page and it's very hard to undo that. So you have to be very, very careful that you don't actually end up doing this um, if you don't own the page. But adding a page that you do own, very simple, you type it in here. So just to review, if you click the button, you have add a page, which you should only use if you own the page and you're gonna type in the page name and you'll be able to claim it putting it here in this business manager. Don't ever do that if you don't own the page or you're going to be taking ownership for the per from the other person. All right. Requesting access is just if you want, if you're somebody's hired you, for example, and you're going to be working on their page on their behalf. All right. But it does not take ownership. And then creating a new page is if you don't have one yet, you need to create one. So let's go ahead and move over to setting up your ad account. All right, so here we are, same process, setting up an ad account. You can click add. You're going to see the add an ad account option, the request option, and the create option. Create, pretty self-explanatory. Request access, again, pretty self-explanatory. This is if you're working for somebody else, either as an agency or an employee, what have you. And then only use add an ad account if you own it and want to claim it. This actually used to be called claim an account, and I think that was a little more clear because that's what you're doing. You're claiming ownership of the account. So I'm just, I keep reiterating this because I don't want you to accidentally claim ownership of somebody else's. So when you try to add an account that you already own, you're going to see here, it's going to ask you for an account ID. All right. I want to show you how to get that account ID because it's very important. So we're going to go over to my other business manager here as an example. I'm going to click on this account that we run ads from. And 
if you go into the top left corner, there's this little, I call it the hamburger and it brings up your settings, your menu. Okay. And you want to go all the way to the right to settings. And when you go into settings, you're actually going to be able to see the account number. All right. So you can see this right here, this account ID number. You're going to grab that number. You're going to copy it. And then you're going to go back to this window where you're trying to add the account and you put that number in. When you click add account, it'll add it to this business manager. And that's it. That's how you set up a Facebook business manager account. That's how you add the ad accounts in, you add the pages in or request access. This is really the best and most professional way to manage accounts. And like I said, even if you're not running Facebook ads for other people, or you don't have multiple pages or multiple ad accounts of your own, it's a good idea to set up business manager and then go and go ahead and create one or two extra ad accounts just to be safe in case something happens. So take this video, watch it again, be sure to pause it so that way you can go step-by-step step through this process, get your setup. And if you've got any questions, let me know in the comments. All right, that's it for today's show. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you found this tutorial useful. And if there's anything else that you want to learn about Facebook ads, I just want to remind you, comment below. Let me know if there's something, whether it's related to Business Manager or totally unrelated, Tell me what it is, and I'll go ahead and create some videos about it. We really appreciate you watching the show. Be sure that you subscribe and turn on notifications. That way you never miss an episode. We've got new episodes every Tuesday coming at you, talking about Facebook ads and plenty of other things about building your online business. And if you want to start making money, you know, providing Facebook ad management services for other people like I do, like many of our students do, be sure to check out fbsidehustle.com. Click the link below. 